Hi, my name is Mike. Thanks for joining me today on my channel, Technically Church, where I share over 20 years of experience in audio, video, lighting, and multimedia. You can always find out more on my website at technicallychurch.com. Let's jump in. In this tutorial, I'm gonna show you some of the basics of the Dante Virtual Sound Card. So let me give you a little uh, background here. Uh, I've got a Behringer Wing, I've got a Dante card in the Behringer Wing, so I have a Dante network that enables me to have 64 channels of audio in and out digitally on the Behringer Wing. I have a Mac computer that I run the playback app, multitracks.com playback, for my click, guide, and tracks for the band. So I wanna use Dante to transport all of my click and tracks individually to the Behringer Wing. So in order to do this, I've got the Dante card in the wing, and you have to have Dante Virtual Sound Card on your computer. That's what turns your computer into a Dante device. So let's hop over to the computer and I'll show you some of those settings. So on your computer, you're going to, this is a purchase software, so you're gonna purchase the Dante Virtual Sound Card from Audinate, and you're going to install it, and this is what you should see. So I have it running, I'm gonna go ahead and stop it. So you're gonna to need to plug your computer in to the Dante network, and you would pick your network interface if you have more than one. You wanna make sure you pick your Dante network. You can pick uh, some different latencies here, and you can also pick how many channels you want available on this computer. So with the Dante card and the wing, you get 64 channels, so I'm gonna enable all 64. Obviously, if this is your first time, after you purchase it, they will give you a license, you have to put that in, and the rest of this there's really no settings in. So it's pretty simple. You're just gonna pick how many channels you wanna use, pick your latency, pick your correct Dante interface, and then just click start. And what that's gonna do is it's gonna put your device on the Dante network. So if I jump over real quick to the Dante controller, which I do have a separate video on explaining how to use, you can see now my Michael's MacBook Pro shows up as a device on the Dante network in the Dante controller and allows me to patch it. And if I jump over to Multitracks Playback, go to Settings, you can see that I now have enabled for an audio device the Dante Virtual Sound Card. And if I jump over to the buses, you can see real quickly that it gives me the option of picking all of the channels on the Dante network. Thanks for joining me today. Again, my name is Mike. You can always find out more on my website, technicallychurch.com, or on my YouTube channel, Technically Church. Look forward to seeing you soon.